It's good to see you again. We're, we're we're back down with you now. I think we've uh, I think I've been to your class dealership more now in the last few months than I have nearly any. And you're always welcome. So, <laughs> just wanted to recap on your uh, 25 years event that, that that you run last week. I mean, from my point of view, it was phenomenal. It was a, a fantastic event, and uh, it was so well supported. But in your own words, how did you feel that it went for you? I suppose, look, from the beginning, words won't describe the reaction we got initially. As I said, speaking to you a few weeks ago, we started with the idea of something small. It grew and grew and grew, and we had the event that we had last week. I don't think there was one person who had a bad word to say about the presentation of the place, the amount of new machinery on display, um, and the crowds were just absolutely out of this world. What I noticed straight away, Connor, was that the support that you've had from not only class, because these are main class dealers, these are like, is it three in the whole of Ireland or is it four in the whole of Ireland? four in, the, in, in Ireland. Four in Ireland that can, yeah. can deal the full line. Yes. She's a full line product and CEO Trevor Terrell was here. And you also run some speeches, tell us a bit about that. Yeah, look, on, on the night of it, as you just said, Trevor Terrell, CEO of Class UK in Ireland came in. Uh, his presence is always welcome here at, at McCarthy's. So yeah, look, he was the first guy up. Second up was Matt Dempsey, of the Farmer's Journal, who spoke about all things Brexit, along with other various topics of agriculture. Um, and I suppose, look, the, the woman who kind of, everybody came to see, Anna Mae McHugh, she came at the end and she gave a speech, which I, I'm sure everybody was delighted to, to listen to and delighted to see. I haven't really heard Anna Mae McHugh speak before. And after listening to that speech, I think I turned around to whoever was standing beside me and said, ah, there's a reason. <laughs> there's a reason she is who she is. <laughs> yeah, look, she's, she, she's an amazing woman. As I said, a bit like Trevor, Matt Dempsey, they both have busy schedules, and I'm, as does Anna Mae McHugh. So really, it was amazing to have her here at the open night. And she was really, I suppose you could say she was a crowd puller. I noticed a few faces that we had been working with, the likes of Mark Troy was here and I, you know, I, seen, I seen lots of bits and pieces of things going on and I seen a lot of guys that had bought new choppers this year, the Mahanis, they were, they were all here, all delighted to be a part of the... Yes, look, I, I think from their point of view too that such an attendance is it's vital because from their own point of view they can see that they're dealing with a company that has a good rep rep reputation rather. I think there was, was it five, four, four choppers on display um, and the four customers who had them bought were present on the night. Yes. So from that point of view it's good, yeah, we can't complain. Yeah. One thing that we were batting a few ideas about when we first came down to see you way back at the Mill Street show and you had, you had said to us, why were we not, um, you know, it was time we took a class tractor that you really believed the tractor had come a long way and from that to to now, and that's basically what we're doing today. <laughs> Explain what is sitting or behind you. So behind me we've the Arian, Class Arian 650. It's a 184 horsepower DPS engine. It's got a GEMA back end, which I know you'll refer to it as something else, but we, not today we won't. Um, <laughs> the, middle, the middle of the tractor really is why we're, why we're promoting it. It has Class's own Cmatic transmission, which is making serious inroads in the I suppose the Vario transmission market. They've done a lot of R&D on the product and it's really starting to show now once we put the tractor in field and on road. So yeah, so look, hopefully now, well we won't say hopefully, we know that you won't be disappointed with this tractor. It's a good tractor, it's got plenty of power and it's got a very smooth transmission. Gary's en route in the lorry, he's yeah. en route in Georgian and that this tractor is coming home with us, so. Yeah, so look, we're just getting the finishing touches done to the PDI. Um, it's only a case, as you can see behind me, put the wheel back on it. Take it for a quick test spin, make sure there's no oil leaks or anything like that and should be good to go. And look, we're delighted to have you on board. It's, um, it's, it's going to be good for the brand, there's no point saying it won't be. And it'll be even better for the, the class tractor as a product. And, and she's look. coming very well specced, I do believe. Yeah, it comes with the latest Cebus touchscreen, along with the S10 terminal, which will be used for your auto steer. So basically anything the tractor, that's anything that's an option on the tractor, the tractor has. And full telematics has come full on Full telematics, well. is, so look, it's something that you'll be able to look into once you have the tractor in operation. You'll be able to sit on your, on your phone or on your laptop at home or, or in the car or the van or wherever, and you'll actually be able to monitor the performance of the tractor, the fuel usage, 
where the tractor, the tractor is and also it'll be able to show you at the end of every day where your tractor was performing. Yep. And yeah, you'll get, you'll get enough out of that.